I have a serious hankering for barbecued pulled pork sandwiches for lunch. Well, hey everybody, I'm Bill with Live Simple Live Free. And you know, barbecued pulled pork, it's basically a southern dish. Uh, I had it a couple times up north, but it's just not all that prevalent. Down here, it seems like it's everywhere. <laughs> and I've discovered that I like it. And I would like to have some barbecued pulled pork sandwiches for lunch, but Unless you buy it at a barbecue place someplace, it's a lot of time consuming work to, you know, you have to basically slow cook the pork and then pull it apart and, you know, put it in the barbecue sauce and all that kind of stuff. What I've discovered is that with Thrive Life, you can make a wonderful barbecued pulled pork sandwich in just a couple of minutes. This is Thrive's pulled pork. And... It's freeze-dried and I generally, if I'm going to use it in a meal where I, I'm going to cook it, I'll just put this in there just like that to, to, to rehydrate. But I'm just going to pour some water on this. So generally I take a couple of the larger pieces and just break them in half like that so that they ref uh, refresh a little faster. And it's very easy to do when it's dry. It just pulls apart just a couple of the biggest pieces otherwise it might end up with a little hard knot in the middle that's not uh, dehydrated yet unless you leave it in there a little longer like I said if you're just going to cook it in, in in a meal on the stove then you don't have to worry about that so I'm just going to pour some water on here how much well it's not rocket science if you pour on too much you just pour, let some of it uh, you drain some of it off if you don't put quite enough, it doesn't hydrate quite right, then you just add a little bit more. It's not that big a deal. Mm, it's already refreshing and I can already smell this wonderful pork. So here's the pork as it's already refreshing, getting nice and tender. Now Thrive also has onions. I'm going to put some onions here in here. Of course that's just personal taste, but um, Thrive has sliced onions. Thrive has sliced onions, but they also have these chopped onions, which are chopped very small, about the grain size of a grain of rice. So I usually just sprinkle a little bit like that and mix it in. And those become refreshed and soft in about 30 seconds. Now you can see the amount of water that I poured in there. It was mostly covered and it has mostly disappeared. So let me try one of these pieces to make sure it's tender. Mm. It's already perfect. It's only been about three or four minutes since I put the water on and it's already just about perfect. So I let this sit for another minute and it has used up all of the water that I put in there and it's just about perfect. I don't have to add any more. Like I said, if there was too much, you could just drain some of the water off. So then I just take some barbecue sauce, use the barbecue sauce of your choice. This is Sweet Baby Ray's, got it at the grocery store. Mmm. There you go. Barbecued pulled pork. Now I have a couple of Kaiser rolls here. I like mayonnaise on mine. Of course that's just personal taste. That's up to you.
Now this was one cup of the dried meat. When you add the water it doesn't really expand much. But one cup was just about perfect for two sandwiches. So then I add a pickle and a few potato chips. It's just about a perfect barbecued pulled pork lunch. Mm. Mm. Perfect. Perfect barbecued pulled pork sandwiches in less than 10 minutes. I love it. <clears throat> now I do have to tell you a little bit about the meat. All of Thrive Life's meat, all of it, has a 25 year shelf life before you open the can. Now after you open the can, the all of the beef and all of the chicken and the sausage all has a one year shelf life after you open it. But the pulled pork, this one, and the ground turkey, after you open it, it only has a two-week shelf life. Um, I'm told that's because of the type of fat that is naturally found in here. It goes bad after a couple of weeks. So what we do with those two, with the pulled pork and the ground turkey, instead of buying it in the large can, the family can, we buy them in these pantry cans so that we can use them up faster. And then if it looks like we're not going to use it in two weeks, then I just put the lid on, just stick it in the freezer, and you're good to go. As long as you keep it in the freezer, it's not going to spoil. Then you just take it out and just use it just like you normally would. So just a caution about the pulled pork and the turkey. Two week shelf life after you open it. 25 years before you open it. I'm going to eat. Mmm. Good stuff. Mm. 